Andrew McGann for Severe MMA here in my 11th county of the day, my third gym of the day here in Team Rhino, sitting alongside Patrick Wexton. And Pat, Patrick, I have to say, one of the more enjoyable trips to a gym today. Lucky enough, I had no gee stuff in the car. Um, I have to say, didn't really like what you did to me in that role. Hopefully, we'll get past it and we can still be friends. It, it was, it was light. We were only warm. It I, I don't call that light. <laughs> it was light. It was light. <sighs> uh, you weren't as bad as John Redmond, anyway. He the did. man stalled for five minutes straight. He did. Close did he? guard. Yeah, he just didn't want to do anything on me. Ah, oh, he's brutal, isn't he? Ridiculous. Uh, come here. I haven't been talking to you since your last fight. Explain to me what happened with the rule set. I understand there was a bit of a problem. Um, I mean, I'm not gonna complain. I knew what I signed up for. I signed, I signed up to do it. I knew what, the, what was going on. Do I think it's unfair? No. Do I think it's unfair to be put on a, your record as a loss, as in your pro record? Yeah, but fuck it. I mean, that kind of shit happens. Yeah. We were talking about it with people today, like, for example, the French. Um, they fight. You see French fighters that have re- won in France when MMA is actually illegal there. It's like two-round amateur sort of bouts that yeah. go towards their pro records. It seems Europe is full of stuff like that. Yeah, well, that's what it was. It was two rounds, no headshots. Yeah, I don't know, you know. And when you force one back in as well, it's quite hard to fight here anyways. But uh, I just took it. I signed up for it. I didn't care. I just wanted to go back in there. Yeah, as quick as possible. possible. As quick as possible, yeah. yeah. What has the transition been like coming back to training? Because I know for so long your name was always mentioned to me as someone that Andy wanted to get back in the gym pretty badly. Yeah, yeah. It's been... Fun. I actually really enjoy it. I think I'm at the mature and now as a person. I mean, I was a little bit of a kid. I always had an attitude and an ego, but I'm at the mature and now I think so. And I'm loving it now. I'm loving it now. I have to say, uh, and pretty quickly, once you come back, uh, you got awarded your brown belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu as well. That well, kind I was back about a year, but I was, I was being quiet and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. I, was, I got my brown Bit of a surprise. It was a surprise. I didn't think I was going to get it for a long time. I thought it would have happened to compete more, but. I've put a lot, of, a lot of hours on the mat, so I've been here a long time, so I don't know. What I've been saying to the Irish guys is, like, you've been at the events, you know, you saw your, you saw your teammates fighting the, in the O2 arena, or the 3 arena, yeah. and now you're going to be stepping out to it hopefully in a couple of weeks' time. Yeah. Um, what do you think that whole experience is going to be like, going from maybe not fighting at all to coming back and fighting in a smaller place, a smaller arena, yeah. and now you're in front of 6,000 people? Well, I mean, the one in Lithuania was, was probably in front of 7,000 si- yeah. people in that Siemens arena. 7,000 fans that were against me. I mean, I don't really pay too much attention to that necessarily, but I, I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm buzzing for this. Like, I just can't wait to get in there. Is it a hometown factor, do you think? Maybe. I'm, I'm not pushed on that either. I just want to get in, have some fun, perform to the best I can, and... I have to say, you've said it a couple of times this interview, fun. Seems yeah. to be s- s- the main motivator behind your training yeah. at the moment. But I mean, when I was a little bit younger, I kind of felt pressured into training and stuff like that. Not by my family and stuff like that, just by... I wanted to, imp- I wanted to please everybody. I wanted to please my father. I wanted to please Andy all the time. But now You're I the grown-up version of Huey O'Rourke, are you? Yeah. yeah. Oh, he's getting there now as well. He's 18. Yeah. Now he's, he's after having his little break. Mine was a little bit longer now, but yeah, I think he's back now as well, yeah. Yeah. Finally, before we let you go, is this the sort of thing that we're going to see now more active in and out? You seem to, the way you're going on, it seems like the result doesn't matter because you're kind of living the lifestyle that you want to be living at the moment. Yeah. Are we going to see an extended break after this fight or is depend, depending on the result, straight back in? Whatever the result, I don't mind. It's depending on injury free, I'm straight back in. I think I'm up in November then again. I'd like to get. Battle zone, probably. Battle zone, most definitely, yeah. <laughs> Shocker. Shocker, yeah, most definitely, yeah. Patrick, thank you very much. Thank you very much. See you at Bama. See you.